Well, I'm pretty sure that no one takes as much of my money as Funko does. Thanks, Dad. I stand corrected. But stick around and we'll take a look at my newest haul from Funko. Hey there everyone, my name's Perry. And my name's Harrison. And, and welcome, welcome to, to The Potter, Potter Addict. Addict. Well, like I said in the opening, Funko has taken quite a bit of my money. Uh, they are probably the largest part of my collection, definitely the most expensive part of my collection. Uh, well, I was thinking about Gentle Giant. Gentle Giant wasn't cheap, but Funko, I mean, it is a it is a huge part of my collection, let alone with t-shirts, uh, with the regular size Funko Pops, the um, the mini pops, the jumbos, the um, the the deluxe displays, the uh, deluxe movie moments, the rides, the towns. I mean, guys, the list keeps going on and on. And then we've got also we've got pins, and then we've got some of the stuff that we've added here today. Um, so I think that without talking about it any further, I think we should just dive right in. So, today's haul adds a few things to our collection um, that we've been needing for a little while. And there are some new items that are also coming out that, um, that they've released one of. Actually, they've released two of. The most recent one that just came out was the uh, Hufflepuff mascot. So, there's still the Slytherin and the Ravenclaw mascot that they have not released yet. They're, they're out they're, you know, it's listed on their website as notify me, but they're not available to purchase yet. So with everything that uh, we've got in here today, I've got a few things, like I said, that are going to, that we're going to take a look at. Hold on, hold on, I know there's some secrets in here, some secrets. So I want to keep these things secret, secret from you too. So um, let's just dive right in and we'll, cut, we'll pop, pop these out one at a time. So first things first. Oh, got the dog. Yeah, we've got the brand new Funko Pop pin. Um, this one is the uh, Ron Weasley's Patronus. So let's pop this one open. There's my scissors. And we'll take a look at these one at a time. Now, I know that not everybody collects these. And I'll be honest with you, um, they're my least favorite part of Funko's collection. But at the same time, I, I love them. They really are... Um, a, a high quality pin. Um, they uh, they do little extra things with them with the finishes that I think are absolutely amazing and I really do like these. Um, I would like to figure out a better way to, to display them than my current display which is them in the box on the wall but for the time being that is the that's the best concept that I was able to come up with. So um, but Let's take a look. Oh man, these are so always so hard to get out. Let's take a look. Now, I will also tell you that these supposedly glow in the dark. So um, I will try and get you guys a little sneak peek of them glowing in the dark. But let's take a look at Ron Weasley's Patronus. So this particular pin is super cute. I absolutely love the effect, the 3D effect that they give. I mean, the nose and the eyes kind of pop out. Um, some of the some of the wisps on, on the Patronus uh, pop out further than the rest. Uh, yeah, I love I love the pin. Think it's really cute, and I really hope that this thing glows in the dark far better than some of the glow in the dark pops that they've released. Because honestly, I feel like you need some kind of a, a special tool to make them really show up. Um, because they don't glow. I mean, they really don't glow in the dark, in my opinion. So, um, you know, I, I mean, I've had plenty of things that I've purchased that glow in the dark, and those things really, honestly, just kind of give you a glimmer. I mean, barely, barely anything, uh, which is a little disappointing because I feel like it's not a hard thing to do, but it is what it is, right, guys? I mean, so, but yeah. I want to pick it. No, no, uh, uh, no. Mm. You can't pick anything out of here because there's. Uh, no, I will close my eyes. There's a surprise in here for you. No, I'll, I'll close my eyes. There's a surprise. Did you yeah. hear me? Say no. 
There's, there's, no, uh -uh. uh we're going to do this my way this time. I, I know you like to pick things out, but there's a surprise in here for you. So I'm going to hold this to the end and I'm going to let you, I'll let you see this. Can you tell me who this is? Um, the otter. Yeah, oh. this is the Hermione Granger's Patronus is what this is. She's an otter? I thought she had the cat. No, 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 no. That's her familiar. It's the cat. She's, it's, is uh, the, you know, her, um, Crookshanks. That's her familiar. So, you know, just like, um, you know, her, um, Harry's is, uh, Hedwig and Ron's yeah. is Scabbers. So, yeah. We already had the dog Patronus down there. The dog Patronus. Yeah, you're talking to Theo. You guys can't see him, but Theo is back there asleep on the floor and he is, uh, <laughs> you called him our dog Patronus. Not my choice of Patronuses, honestly, if that was if that was one we picked. In fact, I think when I did the um, the Wizarding World, um, what do you call it? The, um, there's like a, you can, you know, it can, you go through and you answer some questions and it tells you what your Patronus is. I want to say mine was a dog now that I'm thinking about it. I think it's like a, I think it was like a terrier or something like that. I would have to go and pull it back up to take a look. What do you mean? So if you go on, so we, you and I have never done this, and I should do this for you. Shame on me, right? What kind of a, a, a promoter of Harry Potter am I when I haven't even taken my son over to the Wizarding World? But we can set you up on the Wizarding World, okay, website, and then it gives you a character, which is you. You pick what your character looks like, and then you can do different things. Like you can get sorted into your own house. You can, um, you can have it pick your Patronus for you. Um, so you answer questions and it does all this stuff for you. So it's really cool. We definitely need to do that. I am so sorry that I haven't done that with him. So shame on me. But we will definitely do that maybe later on today. Uh, wait, you know how um, Hermione and um, Ron has um, like these pets and then they have Patronuses? Uh -huh. I want a chocolate frog as a real pet and then um, Patronus at, for the phoenix. Oh, oh, the Phoenix is your Patronus. Good choice. Very good choice. I, I absolutely would love that. So without further ado, let's take a look at Hermione's Patronus. So this, again, is, a, is another cute one. Should glow in the dark. Um, hopefully, uh, like I said, we'll, this will turn out. But again, you got the three-dimensional um, eyes and nose that pop out. This one doesn't have any of the wisps that pop out, but it's such a high quality pin. I mean, I love the, the silver and then the, uh, the inlay of the enamel. I mean, they do a fantastic job with these pins, guys. They, they really do. If this is not your thing, I understand, but at the same time, they make a beautiful pin. They really do, and I think that I think if you gave them a shot, you'd like them. Uh, but you got to be a pin person, and I will tell you that um, that pins are definitely growing on me. I am becoming a, more of a pin person, which is horrible because there are so many amazing pins out there. there. Are a ton of great pins out there, and they're not cheap. I mean, they they really are not cheap at all. So. Oh, what? I don't know what this one is, to be honest with you. Oh, they threw out. They, they messed up my order, actually. <laughs> um, Jujitsu ju Kaisen. So, no, no, I do not have, I do not have this. So, um, this was supposed to be, I'm looking through here to see. No, oh, no, no, I, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to reach out to them. So, this was supposed to be the other um, the other Patronus that's available um, pin, but this is the Jujitsu um, Kaisen, uh, which is an anime. If you guys are familiar with uh, with anything like this, I, I'm not. I know the only reason I know this is this is one of the one of the ones that my my older son absolutely loves. And um, before I return this, um, I might ask him if he'd be interested in this because he might be. I mean, I, I don't know, but this was supposed to be the. The third Patronus, because there are four, but the the last one is not currently available. It's only available for um, for to to notify me when it's available. So um, very very surprised by this. This doesn't happen very often with uh, with Funko. I want. I, We're not going to open that one. Though. I want this one though. You like that one? Look Just at, the look of him. Look at the cat. Yeah, yeah. No, he's pretty cool looking. So, in fact, think now that you just said that, I can look on the back of the box. Yes. Yeah, so the other one that was supposed to be here, I believe, was yeah, Albus Dumbledore's Patronus. Yeah, that's the one they sh they cheated us on. So we'll have to reach out to Funko and let them know that they sent us the wrong pin by mistake, and get them to fix that one. I'm sure it won't be that big of a deal. 
and now we will dive in so here we're, we're going to dive in here first and this is the first one i have this is one that now i'm not a big fan of of this new trend that they're doing and the new trend is that they're releasing a new variant of an old funko right so this is the exact same dementor funko that they released before which i already have in my collection but this one glows in the dark so and and again like i told you i now i haven't pulled this one out let's let's do it but um this one glows in the dark and i have told you i'm very disappointed with the the glow in the dark aspect of these that they do if it really popped and and you know was was a bright brilliant kind of glow when when you know when it lights up um i would be more eager you know to add these to my collection i'd be a little bit more you know happier about doing it but at the same time it's like it, i feel like they're cheating their fan base you know i mean because i want to continue to complete my collection so i don't want to have you know a 161 not in my collection because then it's incomplete and you guys know it drives me crazy but at the same time i feel like give me a different version of a dementor give me something different if you want to make him glow that's great but i feel like putting out the same character and just adding a, a slight glow element to it is cheating your your fans so um that's just my opinion guys you take it for what it's worth now the reason i did get this is number one got to complete the collection and number two it comes with a t-shirt guys you know my weakness for t-shirts i mean come on and this one is really cool really cool t-shirt i mean i absolutely love this when i saw it this was a no-brainer in my opinion so i mean so that's how they got me they really got me i mean well they got me twofold complete the collection and add a new cool t-shirt to the collection for sure i definitely had to do that and then let's take a look at this pop Can and like i, I said it? yeah absolutely i'll be really careful there you go, there you, go. you got it mm -hmm. and like i said this particular pop is exactly like i don't even know what number it is but it's exactly like the other dementor um in the in the funko pop collection i mean the same scale same pose everything about it is i exactly the same um, except for this one glows in the dark now again maybe they maybe they up their game maybe they this one will glow really really well um, when i do the close-ups of this and and the spin around um, i guess we'll see um, because that is um i mean that is something that i'm really hoping they've done because the flu powder harry the um phoenix uh, the fox the phoenix that's glow in the dark I, they they both disappoint me i mean they're I have them in my collection, but it's one of those things that Funko needs to needs to really, I, I don't know, I, in my opinion, I think they really need to watch what they're doing because they're going to um, frustrate their fans. I mean, they're, they're going to like burn people out, um, throwing out a bunch of duplicate, you know, poses and, and figures. And they just need to keep giving original stuff. So we'll slide this guy right over here, and then we're going to get into one of your two surprises You're, are you ready for some Can I tell you something? sure absolutely Go so, right ahead. We'll pause. Um, my birthday was yesterday oh yeah oh yeah this guy he'd been living living the high life um his eighth birthday was was on sunday the um the the third and and he kind of made out like a bandit i mean we we he got a, a brand new star wars lego set he got a chocolate frog for for harry potter he has been bugging me for that rubber chocolate frog that comes in the like the tin case and everything else he got one of those and then he got um oh, some other great stuff from from famous amiibos for the zelda game he got um uh, the new zelda tears of the kingdom and you got the brand new minecraft dungeons game as well the deluxe dungeons or whatever it is so cleaned up i mean he did pretty darn well for himself and these aren't really presents that tie into your birthday these were just things that i thought it was time that we started beefing up his harry potter collection so we've got not one but we've got two oh, let's pull these out boy those stuff 
Dobby's does not want to come out. Don't tell me it's Dobby. It's Dobby, sir. It is Dobby. So we got so so we got Harry Potter and Dobby, and both of these come with a T-shirt and a pocket pop. So let's. I'm gonna let you. How about that? Which one do you want to open first? You're gonna. You're gonna open them. I'm gonna take the plastic off just so that I can cut, and then you're gonna open them from there since these are for you. There's I'm this. gonna keep them in the box. Well, you do whatever you want. I mean, they're the little mini ones, just like I've got outside, out, out there behind us, displayed on the shelf. So, all right, there you go. How do you open it? Just the top, right here. Yeah, just pull this open. There you go. And there is your T-shirt. This. And the yeah, he's right here, boy. He's hard to get out. He slides. There he goes. And then you can open that one up. Oh, and while you're opening that up, I'll open up your T-shirt. So here is T-shirt number one. So a little Christmassy Harry standing there in front, uh, you know, with the uh, holding his little ornament and everything. Super cute. And then you got seeing he matches. So it's the same guy that's on the shirt. So you got little little Harry. So we'll do a little close up of this guy real quick and show it to him. Hold on one second. I'll let you see him. But do a little close up just so we can see this guy because he looks super cute. Uh, I mean, holding the little uh, the little owl ornament with his wand in his hand. Super He's super cute. Out. Put your on. You're a bull. <laughs> He's so crazy. All right, and uh, oh, and. If you're not on Instagram, I um, I am I'm gonna have to share this. You know, it's it's not a, not even a problem. I should have shared this by now. I had some fun with some of the photos. I did a horrible job, an absolutely horrible job of videotaping and doing some of the stuff that I had planned when we went to Universal uh, Orlando here recently. So I went and had some fun with some of the pictures that I took and used AI and some special effects to do some fun things. Um, so look for that to be posted because they're, they're really great. They're a bunch of, of ones with him in it doing some funny stuff. So it's good stuff. Good stuff, guys. Um, but here, you ready? Number two. I'm going to break into that one. Dobby t-shirt. Dobby t-shirt. And here is your little pop. I'll let you open that guy up and I'll open up the t-shirt. How about that? This guy is cool. All right. Let's get this guy open. And we have got sweet, sweet little Dobby on a, on a t-shirt here. I mean, how cute is that? That's gonna look absolutely adorable. You know, you kind of look like the Dobby. He's a little, you got your same complexion there. I'm not that way. No, 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 okay. All right, all right. You look like Dobby. Oh yeah, and a really, really cute Dobby. So I, I absolutely love, look how tiny he is. He pulled his little sock. He is super cute, isn't he? So we'll get rid of this stuff. And I mean, so all in all, I mean, pretty, pretty happy with everything. Uh, we'll have to hit up Funko on uh, replacing that guy and giving me what I actually ordered. Um, but, um, oh, I f almost forgot. It's sitting down here, uh, kind of out of sight, out of mind. But we do have one last edition. And if you guys haven't seen this guy, he is absolutely massive. I mean, this guy is amazing. The prisoner i'm sorry prisoner the philosopher's stone movie poster edition with the three figures of, of the uh, of the the golden trio ron harry and, and hermione and these characters uh the figures are actually a larger scale than a normal pop they're like the six inch uh variation of them so they are slightly bigger than the original pops that these are all based on so so not exactly the same figure but the same figure i mean you, you get it but these i mean th this whole thing looks absolutely amazing it is huge i mean guys i mean take just take a look i mean it, it is a big piece and if they put one of these out for each movie i am going to really have to figure out the how i'm going to display these because they're going to take up a ton of room i already have kind of in my head started reworking the back wall 
because ideally guys I, I think I've said this to you before um, and forgive me if I'm repeating myself but this wall here is not going to be the permanent background for this channel I plan on moving over to that wall and having a massive uh, Hogwarts crest on the wall that I'm going to custom build and then I had a kind of a layout of I wanted to do house sections so I was gonna have a Gryffindor uh, you know I was gonna do it just like the crest you know so I was gonna have the Gryffindor the Slytherin the Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw I was gonna have different sections that were just dedicated to each house with these coming it's kind of had me rethinking my approach and I'm trying to decide how I'm going to do it. I mean, wall space is in limited supply. I mean, I've got a huge wall back there, but if I wanted to keep true to the houses and then have room for these, I'm gonna have to really rethink things. So so that is definitely something that I am currently in the, in, in, it's in the works. Uh, but before I can even start that crest, I've got to finish a home project that my that my wife has had me doing for quite some time and that is this custom cabinets that are in our bedroom I've got to finish the doors and everything else so you okay uh -huh. okay <laughs> so um, so that is in the works um, I gotta get that project done so that I can start this one and and once I do get to start that one it's gonna look amazing I know it is because um, I won't accept anything less so um, but we are to that point in the video guys where um, I need you guys to please click that subscribe button, click that bell notification, give us both a big thumbs up, and please don't forget to check us out on Instagram and TikTok too, because I will definitely be showcasing some of these things, and I definitely um, I want will post those those um, AI pictures that I was telling you about, I will post those here. They'll be in a little short that I'll post um, probably tomorrow. Um, actually, if you're watching this, it'll probably be same day. So um, I probably will post this uh, uh, Tuesday morning, so when this video is gonna hit. So, um, But that is all I've got, guys. I thank you so much for joining Searson and I for another magical moment, and until next time. What, what is it? I don't know what you're saying. Turn the internet right. And expect a Patronum. <laughs> Guys, I you know, I, I like I've said before, this guy, he just is uh he's a wild card. You don't know what to what to expect with him. But until next time, all you wizards, wizards and muggles like, keep it magical. <laughs> keep it magical, guys.